Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we've got a sticker album and pack opening review for the Warhammer 40,000 Warriors of the Emperor sticker album collection. Um, something I've never even heard of before, guys, before I start. Hence why when I usually only get the album and a pack or two, it usually means I don't know enough about the collection to necessarily want to collect it. But as I say, reviewing everything Panini and Tops this year that gets released in the UK at least is my goal. So subscribe if you're here for that. Um, anyway, today we're going to be having a look through the album, which, you know, feels quite a chunky, good looking album at the moment. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to having a look through this. I haven't had a sneak peek yet. I have waited for you guys, I assure you. Um, and then once we've had a look through the album, we will open this sticker pack. Yeah, I mean, the, these guys, as I say, I do apologise for my lack of, lack of knowledge. Um, but these guys look awesome, uh, I must say. Um, anyway, so um, obviously you've got 204 stickers to collect. Um, uh, you've also got this sort of card collection, which I believe by the looks of it there goes up to 50. Um, and this is really cool. Sticker and Heroes collection, 12 special gilts, 24 um, Imperium and 24 shiny skulls. Um, so it'll be interesting to see which ones we get. Um, starting off though, let's show you what the stickers look like. Um, as I say, I apologise. I have no knowledge of these guys, but there's the back of the sticker. Very basic design, but I don't mind basic, you know, when it comes to a sticker album. I quite like that sort of, you know, very retro vibe. And there's the card box to put your cards in. Um, obviously, the first page then is a sort of six stickers. And this is um, this is really peculiar, guys. This is very, very much, um, it really does feel like an A4 piece of paper. And I know that sounds, but, you know, if any of you guys have got your hands on it and can explain it better... Please do in the comments, but these pages feel really different to a normal Panini sticker album. Um, anyway, love the designs on these. think they're fantastic. Some of these stickers where you've got to sort of match it up, which I'm not the best at, like this guy here, to get his head and complete him. Um, a couple of the double stickers there. Look at that, guys. Really well-designed album, though. Look at this. Look at the detail and the sort of art that's gone into the album itself. It's... Um, you know, as much as I know nothing about it, I wouldn't mind, you know, collecting something that looked like this, which I did, um, you know, did have a bit more knowledge on. Um, so there you go. And in the middle, we have one of these, um, I don't know what you call them, like uh, extra sets where you can pull this out and stick them in and have it as a poster. Um, I never do that. I usually tend to keep all my sort of, you know, uh, sets looking nice and clean, but really, really nice. Um, it's always a nice addition, especially for the more sort of child-based collectors who uh, don't mind a poster on their wall. I'm getting a bit old for that now, possibly. Um, as I say, look at these. Really, really nice. Some stuff in here that's really different that I haven't seen before. Some Blood Angels. Death Company. Um, wow. These guys look scary. Sisters of Battle. So we are getting near the end of the album now. Wow, look at that. I know I'm saying wow a lot, guys, but this is just a really well-designed album. So the album ends on 182, but you've got a lot of W stickers, um, which are in that uh, fold-out. Then you've got the collector's card holder. And then, of course, some extra stickers here for you guys that want to see what you get with the album. You may get different ones in the album, I'm not too sure to be completely honest. But there you go, there's the album review, here we go. Let's, um, I'm actually quite excited to open one of these packs to see sort of, um, you know, how cool some of these uh, stickers are that, uh, you know, hopefully get a, a shiny or a really nice card, one of those special, I can't remember what they're called. Um, so anyway, let's open it and see what we get. So let's do the card last. Right, first of all, we've opened straight away with, um, God, no test of my knowledge. The Sang Yuenor. Wow, I've butchered that so bad. Please don't hate me. But two shinies by the looks of it. Wow, I love that, guys. Um, another one of these part stickers. And then we've got, wow, now that's what, that's a, that's a very nice sticker. Look at that. And another part sticker to finish with, which, you know, I can't make much of. But wow, that's a very, very nice sticker. And last but not least, the card. 
So a bit of a spoiler on the back, I suppose, for you that know this sort of uh, Warhammer collection. Um, but there you go. So this is Flesh Tearers. Um, chapter Master Gabriel Seth. So there you go. Really nice, actually. Really nice finish on that. Really, you know, um, I suppose my review of this is, at the end of the day, my knowledge is slim. But when it comes to just general sticker collecting, um, it's a really nice looking set. Um, you can tell there's been a good bit of effort put into this set. Um, and as I say, they've, you know, really gave it some, uh, good, got some good art designers on this uh, this one, that's for sure. So if you did, uh, did, did subscribe, my words are getting so stuttered, guys. I'm ready. I'm ready for bed. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.